Hello. Hello, Carlos. Do you listen to me? Good evening. Yes, I listen to you. Okay, great. And Filomena, everything with the audio is correct? Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Good evening. Yes. Perfect with the audio, right? Okay, yes. today is Monday and our class is number 10, correct? Congratulations because many of you have uh, the 100% of the of the activities, okay? So as uh, every single day class, I'm going to get started by sharing. My, hello, Clelia, welcome my screen with you, okay? And here we go. Let's see here. Um, okay, here we go. Yes. This one, yeah. Today is October 17th, correct? 2022. And I'm going to share this with you. Okay. Here, let's see. Okay, great. So as I was telling you, I am so happy that you are here with me guys, okay, in this spiritual class. And today is October 17th. Notice that when I say the date for today is 17th. And teachers usually write the TH in order to tell the students about the pronunciation because we write only October 17th, but you read it like this. Escribimos 17, pero lo leemos con TH, 17 for the dates, okay? Because today we're going to be working on that a little bit. Porque hoy vamos a estar trabajando un poquito en ello. Entonces, let's continue. And here today, as I told you guys, is our video conference number 10. Yes, and I need, as always, one volunteer. Hello, Nilton, to help me reading okay, uh, the objectives, but I'm going to start reading the video conference. Readings as every day is our first activity. We're going to go back over the feedbacks and here I need your help in activity number three for reading the objectives. And we're going to be working, as I told you, in a review of units two and practice. And you are going to describe activities in progress, in present, sorry, in present, because this is what we have been um, studying in this section number two. And they are associated to daily routine, okay? Simple present tense. Uh, activities, your daily routines at work and at home, okay? And we're, I expect that we can cover uh, the contents at pages 27 and 28, and later we're going to wrap up the class at the end, okay? So my volunteer, please, to read the objectives, who wants to try? Thank you, Carlos. Okay, a specific objective. Participant will be able to describe activities in present. Um, class objective, uh, participants will be able to review and practice unit two. Excellent, we'll be able to, we'll be able to, okay? Let's remember that. Thank you so much for your participation. Participants, all of you students, will be able to describe activities in present tense, okay? And you will be able also to review and practice all the contents that we have been working with in our classes, every single day classes. So again, if there is someone owing me the homeworks, hello, uh, David Emanuel, homeworks and evaluations, remember you have two, okay? Today until midnight. And here we go. Remember your name and last name, full name and last name on your camera, okay? And camera on, minimize the sound, microphones off if you're not going to participate at the moment. And remember, always, but always in the main session room, like we are right now and in the 
breakout rooms, active participation. Again, a reminder for attendance, para la asistencia, okay, two times in the class and the one-on-one -on -one session at the end of the class. And I'm going to tell who's going to stay with me after class, okay, to have a reinforcement. And here again, also a reminder, a reminder, un recordatorio. Keep the bottom in mute, okay, silencio. I told you the camera, you have available the two chats, the one in Zoom and the one in, uh, in your cell phone via WhatsApp, the breakout rooms, active participation. And if you need me and I am monitoring another group, please push the ask for help button. And remember, let's be respectful always, okay? And here we are uh, saying goodbye today to session number two, our week two, and tomorrow, congratulations, we are going to start the other 50% of the class. Mañana vamos a iniciar el otro 50% de la clase, ¿de acuerdo? De el curso, no de la clase, del curso. You are like this. And right now, here we go. Mm -hmm. Feedback. Let's see. Do you remember this conversation? Let me see how many students do I have right now. Hello, Miss Ivania. Brandon, welcome. Serafin, hello, thank you so you. much. Blanky, hello. Blanky, we were missing you, the previous class. And Ana Veronica, welcome. William Francisco. So here we go. We're going to practice as a feedback this conversation in the breakout rooms, okay? So you can have a speaking practice as a feedback from the beginning. Jan and Anne. Anne, is there something, something, not sometimes, something. Anne, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients, clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule, reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide, provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting, interesting. At the beginning, the strongest voice, okay? Interesting in the first syllable, interesting. I want you to notice this. Clients is a synonym for customers. Both are correct. They mean the same. Clients, customers. Son sinónimos y significan lo mismo. Acá se los ponen porque los dos son muy, muy usados. Clients and customers. And there is no problem at all. Okay. Mm, that sounds interesting. So you have this conversation in your manual and you have it in the WhatsApp also, right? Do you want me to share it so you can practice or you already have it, right? Porque ya se las compartí, se recuerda. Ok. Ay. Ok. Jenny dice que tiene problemas. Y acá les están enviando el enlace, ¿verdad? Lo vamos a compartir. ¿Quién, ¿Quién está pidiendo el enlace ahí? Lo quiero copiar y no. Ok. Porque lo están pidiendo que se los envíe. Bye. Ok. So, as I was telling you, and I was uh, to check. Okay, let's see if you have this conversation. Yeah, you have it. Mm, let me see. Yes. You already have it. Do you want me to share it again? Quieren que se las comparta de nuevo? Hello, class. Uh, no, I know. Yeah, you don't want to because you have it, right? But in case that someone because somebody's saying that has a different cell phone, I already share it, okay, with the class. 
ya se las compartí de nuevo en la clase porque alguien decía que tenía problemas ahí como que con un teléfono diferente. So here we go. And right now, we're going to move and you practice. Try, try to practice as much as possible, okay? The pronunciation of the words. And here, make emphasis on these words. Interesting, interesting. Provide, not provide, provide, okay? Customers, clients, reschedule, reschedule. Two meetings for tomorrow, they were canceled. Cancel, not cancel, no. Cancel, cancel. La fuerza de bomba en la primera sílaba, okay? So here we go. Now we're going to practice. You have um, to take turns as always. And then, okay, hold it because I'm going to give you the power to share the screen. And right now I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. Let's verify how many students at the platform. Three, 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 three. Okay, here we go. Open your eyes big right now. I'm sending you. Okay, hold it because Carmen is joining. I'm saying hello, Carmen. Welcome. I'm sending you the invitation, people. Okay, here we go. Okay, Carmen. Join your groups, please. If you're so nice, I'm going to assign you to a group. Okay, Carmen? Carmen, la voy a asignar a un equipo. Okay, teacher. Okay, let me see. Okay. Filomena, please go to group number two. David Emanuel is waiting for you. And Filomena, did you, re uh, sorry, Carmen is there. Filomena, hello. Are you okay, Filomena, with your, out? okay, great, excellent. Hello, hello, everybody's here. Lelia, Dani. William, Francisco, are you here? Hello. Are you available to practice? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. Okay, Danny. Hello, teacher, hello. Great. Uh, Clelia and Danny, you may begin the practice, okay? And later you switch and remember that William is with you, okay? Okay. Okay, begin practicing, speaking, speaking, speaking. Okay. Acabar. Okay, ok, entonces. Inicia Carmen, entonces, conmigo. Sí. Sí, tú con Carmen. Vaya, Carmen. Sería tu primero. Perfecto. <coughs> ok. Carmen. Yes, actually, I need to count some claims and you. Clients. Well, I have to rescue rescue two meetings for tomorrow. To wear cancel today. Oh, that's that too bad. Yes, I have to provide provide important information to some customers. Customers. That sound interesting. 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 Okay, thanks you, Serapin. Okay. Ahora rotemos. Yo soy okay. John. Va. Okay, um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you? Well, I have to reschedule. To meeting for tomorrow, they will cancel today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customer. That sound interesting. Y ahí sería, entonces, si quieren practiquen ahí con el... Only con, remember, con, con only remember, reschedule, reschedule. 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 Excellent, very well, reschedule. Ok. Brando, conmigo. Démosle. Iniciaste tú. Ya, yeah, con um, 
Is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually. We have to provide important information to some customers. Okay. That, that sounds inter interesting. Okay. Ahí podrían cambiar roles las primeras y después nosotros. Uh -huh. Ok, continue. Eh, las primeras que participaron pueden cambiar roles y después Iván y yo. Ok. Ok. okay. Hola, Hola. Y Vania, usted está grabando la clase. Yes, teacher. Sí, es que acá me aparece una flechita. Ok, en verde, un icono. Uh -huh. No sé, o sea, yo estoy compartiendo la. la ah, pantalla. La pantalla, ajá. Dimas, ah, permítanme entonces, ya verifico. Ok. Bueno. Okay, continue, continue, please, with the practice. Okay. Alejandra. No sé cómo se me está. Bueno, alguien que sea. No, Alejandra Michela, que she ah, is okay. here. Aquí está. Están, permítanme que están ingresando. Ay, estoy chicos. Okay. Eh, continuemos, Ana Marlene. Okay, the John. And is it something you need to need to do tomorrow? Yes. Actually, I need to some clients. And you? Well, I have to schedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes. I to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Okay. okay, now listen girls, now you have a boy in the group, Noé Hernández, he has recently joined, okay? okay. Uh, so please, uh, I need someone to help him practicing, okay? Please. Okay, teacher. Thank you, bye. Okay. Bye. Ana Veronica Tal. Did all of you finish the practice? William, did you practice? William is sharing the screen, right? Sí, yeah. Okay. Ya Todos practicaron e intercambiaron roles. Sí, sí. Me, eh, me gustaría escuchar a Dani y a, y a Clelia. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, please. Um, is there some some meeting you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients and you. We, I had to reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I had to provide important information to some customers. That sounds interesting. Excellent. The only thing, remember something together with confidence, okay? Something. Some. And is something, okay? Repeat after me, Danny, something. Something. Okay, some clients. Some clients. Some they were canceled today. Canceled today. Very well. I have to provide. I have to provide. Important information. Important information. Information, sh not shown, shown, information. Information. Okay, information to some customers. 
to some customer. That sounds interesting. That's, that sounds? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Remember that clients and customers are synonyms, okay? Both are correct. Son synonyms y los dos son muy, muy usados, okay? Entonces, okay. In the, in the, in the, que le digo, indiferentemente pueden utilizar, eh, que le digo, cualquiera, ¿verdad? De esos, eh, ver, perdón, nombres o sustantivos, está dando el ingreso a José Mari. Ok, class, so I think that you did a very good practice and right now we're going to get back to the main session room, ok? Congratulations on your speaking practice. Remember, practice makes perfect. Okay, let's get back then to the main session room. Let's wait for the other participants. Okay. Jose Mario, good evening. Okay, thank you for being here, Jose Mario, and to the rest of the, of the group. But I think that, yes, Juan, I know you are here. Thank you. Let's see. But Noe is having problems, I think, again with the connectivity because he was in the group but now he's not. Okay, class, thank you so much. Congratulations for your practice, your speaking practice at the beginning. I'm going to uh, call your names for the first attendance, okay? Here we go, Ana Marlene. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Miss. Ana Veronica. Present. Okay, thank you. Brandon. Present teacher. Thank you. Present. Los Miguel, Carlos, Carlos Miguel. Uh, present teacher. Carmen, Carmencita, where are you? Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Clelia. Present. Wow, Clelia is wearing a beret today. You look beautiful today wearing that beret. Okay, Danny. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. David Emanuel. Present. Thank you. Edwin. Edwin, not yet. Where are you, Edwin? Not yet. Ivania. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Janice. Janice Caroline. I think she was having problems with the connectivity, too. Jonathan, uh, Jonathan, not yet. Jose Dimas, Jose Dimas. Present. Thank you, Jose Manuel, not yet. Jose Mario. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Juan Ezequiel. Teacher present. Thank you, Juan. Marlene, Marlene Oneida, not yet. Marlene is absent at the moment. Milton. Milton. Present. Present. Yes, I know you're here. Serafin. William, teacher. William Francisco, William. Present. Thank you. Lucy Filomena Luz. Present teacher. Blanqui, Blanca Luz. Present teacher, present. Thank you, Miss. Alejandra Michel. 
Hello, Alejandra Michel. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Ale. Beatriz is absent. And Noé. Noé is absent. His internet is not so good. Okay, thank you. And congratulations again for your performance in the first part of the class. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to continue sharing my PPT with you. Okay. This is what you already did. And we continue with the feedback. Okay, here, if you remember, we uh, we also were working with have to and need to. And we agreed, acordamos que we use have to when it is necessary to do something, whether you like it or not. Utilizamos have to cuando es necesario que hagamos algo, ya sea que nos guste o no. Es como más obligatorio, ¿de acuerdo? You don't have to uh, park here. You don't have to smoke here, ¿ya? Yeah? You don't have to speak in the library. Need to, when there is a benefit for you. And you were building sentences with have to and need to, if you remember, if you will remember. And then you went through another exercise during the week about the plant's needs and what people have to do in order to supply the plant's needs, yeah? That was an introduction to the topic. And also you were practicing this short conversation. Do you remember? I really need that memo brief. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important right away. Do you remember? Yes or no? Okay, I need to volunteers in order to practice here in the main session room, this short conversation between Mark and Bree. Hello, okay, there's no participants. Here I am lonely, the lonely, probably I lost the connectivity and I didn't notice. I'm going to ask uh, Alejandra Michel, you are going to read it, Brie. And Jose Mario, you're going to be the boy, okay? Okay, Jose Mario, you read Mark. And Alejandra Michel, you read Brie to the count of three. One, two, three, begin please. Okay. I really need that memory. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very right. important. Right, away. Congrats, very well. Now let's listen to... Um, okay, Carlos Miguel, you're going to read Mark and now you choose your partner. Carlos, choose a partner. Seleccione una, un, una compañera para practicar. Ah, Blanca Luz. Okay, Blanqui, ready? Really? Okay, begin. I really need that memory. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. Please, it's very important. Why to hurt away? Right away, very well. Thank you so much for the participation. Okay, now David Emanuel. Hello, David Emanuel, are you here? Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, you're going to read Mark and you choose your partner. Este, a Clelia. Okay, Clelia. Okay. okay. I really, really, I really need that memo, Bri. Yes, just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Okay, excellent. Congratulations, class. So we had a general practice here of what you already practiced, right? About ongoing activities. And here, if you remember, we were also practicing Okay, with this paragraph, right? And you were categorizing the activities that were the most important for Guadalupe to develop in the, in the week, yes or no? Do you remember class? Yes? And you were also reading this uh, 
Yes. This male in the breakout rooms, okay? Using the uh, frequency adverbs also, right? Because that was another topic. Now we're going to go over the manual. And here we go. Let's see. Uh, but I think that I have it over here. Hello, Jose Mejia. Welcome to the class. Okay, so here. Hello, hello. hello. Okay, here we're going to start in this activity, guys. Write about something you have to or need to do these days. You have to write here when, what time, and where. Van a escribir sobre algo que tienes que hacer o necesitas hacer estos días. Acá, when. Monday, October, mm, sería la otra semana, ¿verdad? Or Tuesday, October 18th. What time? 9 a.m. Where? At the copy center. Eh, at the copy center. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que tienes que hacer? I have to get some copies. When? On Tuesday, October 18th. What time? Y ahí cambian. Where? Y escriben el lugar. ¿Puede ser en el mismo lugar de trabajo? Sí, obviamente, pero en qué dependencia, ¿ok? To deliver some information, some packages, whatever. Acá escriben la actividad y cuándo la tienen que realizar, acá, a qué hora y acá, dónde, ¿ok? Dónde lo tienen que hacer. Sí, puede ser en el trabajo o puede ser fuera del trabajo. If you have to pay some bills for the company, for example, yes? Are we clear? Estamos claros. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, very well. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. Miren, lo voy a enviar al, a los equipos, pero cada quien va a trabajar primero solo esta parte. Aquí no, nadie va a tocar esto que está acá. Todavía no. Esto que está acá es lo que me va a trabajar cada quien y luego se lo van a, a, a leer. Lo van a compartir de forma oral. Nadie va a trabajar en el ejercicio 5 todavía porque lo vamos a trabajar de otra manera. ¿De acuerdo? ¿Sí? Entonces, acá solo tiene que ser actividades de su empresa, sus obligaciones. ¿Qué es lo que tienes que hacer? ¿Y cuándo lo tienes que hacer? ¿A qué hora? ¿Y dónde? ¿De acuerdo? Okay, this is at page 27 in your manual. Do you want me to share this slide? ¿Quieren que les comparta esta slide o ya la tiene? Ya la tengo, pero no sé si me la repite que me desconecté un rato y regresé. Acá está la instrucción en el número 4. Solo en el número 4 van a trabajar porque luego se van a hacer el número 2 sin haber hecho el número 1. ¿Verdad? La mayoría les gusta irse. Ay, no, hagamos este primero. Y, lo, y la información base no la tiene todavía. Nadie trabaja el número 5. Ah, serán probablemente unas tres o cuatro lo más. ¿Sí? Ok. Ok. When, what time, and where. That you have to, remember, have to obligation. Your obligations at work. And you need to, okay. I have to ask for permission to go to the, to the hospital, for example. I need to. Ask for permission to go to the hospital or to go to the clinic to visit the dentist at work. And you have that right. And you write here the date. Y escriben acá la fecha, what time and where. Y donde tienen que ir a hacer eso. ¿De acuerdo? Okay, here we go. Les voy a compartir de todas maneras esa slide. So you can have it just in case. Where is it over here? Um, okay. Okay. There you are. Ahí tiene. Entonces vamos a recrear los equipos porque tengo más participantes en este momento, ¿de acuerdo?
Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, acabamos. Ready? I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Remember, first the individual activity because it is about you. Later, you share with your partners, but in an oral way. Then we come back. And I'm going to tell you what to do. Okay, here we go. Please go to your groups. Go to your groups. And begin working. Equipo de tres. Three, three, three. Teacher. Hello. Dice que yo, yo le di, ahora no, pero estoy en el grupo 6, pero le, le quería preguntar algo nada más, o consultar algo. Sí, dígame. Dice que yo a partir del día miércoles eh, salvé del país por tres días. Entonces voy a estar ausente de la clase. Si gusta, me, 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 me consulta eso vía WhatsApp. Ok. Uh -huh, sí, porque no va a quedar aquí grabado y, y verdad. Sí. Ok. Ok. okay, okay. okay. Eh, escríbamelo ahorita y le contesto. Ok. De acuerdo. Ok. Thank you. William, I need grupo, you. Al grupo 6 me había mandado. Al grupo 6, sí. José ah, en el equipo 6. Equipo 6. Me la puede volver a mandar ahí porque sin, pues, sin querer le di ahora no. <laughs> okay, ya le apareció, sí, okay, William, William, okay, thank you, William. Okay. I have. Uh, print for copies. Eh, mm -hmm. When sería el, el lugar donde sacan fotocopias, en qué tiempo, a las uh, 8 pm, uh, por ejemplo, y correcto. where. Mm -hmm. el, uh, uh, ok, I ah. need, need to, ok, I need to, to, to get a, a cup of coffee. Where, ya, ya, when, ya, ya, every day. Ya where at the coffee station at the cafeteria yes at the kitchen whatever yeah okay mm -hmm. yes okay bye Uh, hello, teacher. Hello. Um, for example, acá donde dice when, eh, por ejemplo, en mi trabajo es eh, la fecha, la, el sábado 22, por ejemplo, Saturday. Um, October 22nd. October 22nd. Mm -hmm. Y luego la, la hora y dónde será. Ajá, uh -huh, así es. Okay. Por ejemplo, si es algún training, I have mm -hmm. to attend, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, gracias. Okay, my pleasure. Okay, no problem. Any question, any doubt? No problem, teacher. Ok, great, excellent. Yo ya había re relacionado una actividad que tengo para mañana. Oh, great. That's excellent. I need, I need to I need to go consultory uh, general. 
Ah, uh, okay. I need to go okay. to the to the to the hospital. Yes. Ah, hospital. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I need to go to the hospital. When Thursday? Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, October twenty second. Okay, huh? It was noon. Ah, okay. What it time was, and was, where? The social secure. Al seguro. Uh, uh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, so you see, ah, uh, uh, very well. Excellent. Okay. Congratulations. Bye. 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 Dale los volados a la cola, a ver si te volados. No problem, guys. Vero, Carmen, Brandon. Ahí te lo estoy preparando. Una me pongo. Ok, excelente. Very well. Eh, no sé. Sería en algo como salón de reuniones. Ajá. 20, sería el 20. October. October. Uy. October. At. At. Um, eight o'clock. ¿Dónde? San Salvador. Eh... O'clock, de apóstrofe en o'clock. Eh. I, capital letter, always, the subject pronoun I. Tomorrow in the morning I have a meeting. What time? Eight o'clock. Where Create Foundation Create with capital letter. Create con mayúscula, I con mayúscula. O'clock, siempre el apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Tomorrow I have, I have siempre el pronombre personal, I va con mayúscula. ¿Qué es? Ok. Who's typing? Jose. Oh, yeah. ah, Jose, Jose Mario or Jose Mejia? Because I have Mario. Time. Okay. Mario, Mario. Okay. But that is the okay. way, okay? Where, Where? Uh, San Salvador? San Salvador City. <laughs> Wednesday, October. 19. 19s, recuerden que a la fecha se le pone TH, ¿verdad? Porque decimos 18s, 19s. Ok. Ok. 19. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Eso es este, 9 a.m. o p.m. Ah. Ajá. A.m. Ok. Este. Aquí. I need. To organize, I need to organize. I need to uh -huh. organize sí, the meeting. Sí, porque van los verbos juntos. Entonces lo separamos con la partícula to. I need to. Necesito. Recuerde, aparte de eso, en la expresión verbal es need to. Ok. Ok. Ok, great. My office. Jennifer, uh, what time? It is at 12 o'clock. And where in my work? Y la tercera que escribí fue, I need to visit a doctor. Saturday, October 22nd. Uh, it is at 7 o'clock in the morning. Where in the hospital? Uh -huh. Así fueron los, las tres que yo hice. Ok, permítame un momento. La, la suya. Hola, yo voy. Me dejaron sola. Solita. No, perdón, no, acá está Dimas y Williams, aquí están, y yo también. <risa> You're not alone. 
Me balón, ¿ok? <risa> Sorry, estaba atendiendo a, a mi peque. Este, ah, va, okay. Y lo siento. Eh, uh, mire, yo acá estoy compartiendo, no sé si puede ver la, la pantalla. Sí. Ok. Eh, no sé si es que la estoy haciendo mal. O, o... ¿Cómo las había hecho usted? Así, así como está en la pantalla. Por ejemplo, cuando o when, perdón. Saturday, es... ok, 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 ok. Oh, Saturday, okay. October 22nd. Acá el 22 no es con TH, es con ND. ND, sí, sí. Ajá. Y recuerden que los días de la semana siempre, always, but always, capital letter. Siempre con mayúscula. Ah. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Siempre se me va el avión ahí. Pero ahí también se va a poner qué es lo que se va a hacer. Es lo que va a hacer. Y si es una necesidad o es algo que uh -huh. tiene que hacer. En esa si parte, es obligación bueno. o, algo, okay. o alguna una necesidad. necesidad. Uh -huh. Sí, pero ¿cómo, cómo y dónde detalle okay. eso? Ahí ah, mismo en Juan. En Juan. Ajá, en Juan. Así como le decía yo los ejemplos. Ajá. El primero que yo puse y le dije que me corría si me he equivocado. I have to resolve meetings. Eh, uh -huh. Tuesda y October 18. Eh, that's correct. Eh, what time? ¿Dónde dice what time? Eh, escribí ¿A qué hora? It at 10 o'clock. Y ah. where in my work? Or in my, my office. office. In my office. Mm -hmm. or, in It my can office. Be, or in my work, más general, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Y una necesidad que escribí fue: yes, yes. Eh, I need to visit a doctor Saturday, October 22nd. Excelente. Eh, what time, la hora? Eh, it is, aquí escribí, it is at 7 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Eh, lugar, where? In the hospital. Excellent. Very well. That's correct. That's the way it is. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Continue working very well. Okay. Thank you. Everything okay? No problem? No, teacher. Solo estábamos con inquietudes si vamos a hacer solamente una. O más de una para compartir. actividades, no Ajá. tres o cuatro, tres o cuatro, porque tiene que practicar lo más que se pueda. Sí, ah, pero Ajá. no lo vamos a compartir en la clase. Así en ya les voy a indicar después cómo lo van a compartir. Sí, no, no, cada quien hace su, su trabajo, sus actividades. Sí, ok, porque Perfecto. luego viene la segunda parte. Sí, ok, ok, ok. Thank you. My pleasure. You okay, girls? No problem. And Brandon, no problems with the activity? Sure. Dicho, yeah. perdón, este, no estaba un poco así conectado así este, en la, la clase porque estoy moviendo unas cosas aquí en la casa, entonces solo estoy escuchando la, la clase. <ríe> Me voy a disculpar. Oh, ok. ¿Y las chicas sí están trabajando en sus actividades? Sí, ya las tenemos. Ok. So, uh, may I listen to yours, Ana Verónica? Hola. ¿Puede escuchar sus actividades? Sí, sí. Ok, please. Este, tomorrow I have to generate report daily in the office. Ok. Now I have to make declaration tax to Ministerio de Hacienda. Excellent. Tuesday I have to visit clients in San Salvador. Ok. Pero escribió también, eh, es decir, en cada espacio, ¿verdad? Sí, a completar, Vero. Eh, no, sí, 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 sí. Sí, eh, ah, ok. Es, es, sería tomorrow, now, and Tuesday. Ok. Para, para el caso de escribir en la segunda, el cuadro, what time, en qué tiempo. Eh, uh -huh. 
ahí tendría que delimitar eh, la hora, hours. Y es the time, the hour. Mm -hmm. hour the time. And where is the place, correct? Okay, where is the place, okay. Okay, very well. And what about Carmencita, Carmen? And the teacher. <clears throat> yes, <clears throat> tell me. Do you have your sentences? Okay. I have to write a memorandum Tuesday um, 15 at 8 a.m. I have to leave early to work tomorrow at 6 a.m. in the house. Perdón. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to drink coffee tomorrow at 7 a.m. in the office. Okay, excellent. So you are done, I think, yeah. Very well, you got the idea in the, okay, you got the idea. So give me one more minute so we can get back to the main session room and then we can go over the second part of the activity, okay? Because okay. I need to monitor some of your partners are having problems with the connectivity. So I need to make sure that all of you are ready with the activity, okay? With the work, with the report. Hello. Finished. Hello, teacher. Yes. yes. Yeah. Hello, teacher. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. Everything is fine. Yes, Clelia. And yes. these two gentlemen. Yeah. Okay. So I think that you are ready to to share in the main session room, yes? In the salon principal, yes. listo para compartir. Great, here we go. Let's get back okay. then. Okay, class, now I think it's time to continue. And let's see, this is the activity you were working with, right? I ask you to complete these uh, three, okay, boxes with information related to activities you have to or need to do these days. And now it is the time for listening just to some of you, okay? You are going to read only one about you. Yes, only one. And later you're going to be transferred to the breakout rooms in order to um, continue with the second part of the activity. And here we go. Volunteers to read only one activity that you have written. I was listening to you. Okay, Blanqui, please be the icebreaker. Va a romper el hielo, Blanca Luz. Okay, okay Las please. Tres. Only one, only one. Only. Okay. Yes, only yeah. one. Okay. Um, I have to resolve meeting on Tuesday, October 18th. Tuesday, October 18th, Blanqui has to resolve, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I take note about you. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to listen to Serafin. Give me one example, Serafin. Me duele la garganta, Ali. 
Okay, I have a sore throat. Sore so throat, so. dolor de garganta. Ay. Yeah. Many people, be careful because many people are in the Clelia, same Clelia miss the group. Clelia oh, nos iba a ayudar. Uh -huh. Ella fue la, la designada. No, pero es que usted va a leer una suya, una actividad oh. suya. Solo una oh. suya. Ella fue Ay, la yeah. designada, mire qué bello. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 there's no excuse. I'm meeting, uh -huh. I'm meeting with clients. I'm meeting, uh, I'm meeting, I'm meeting with, 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 with Pero clients. Pero ahí sería, I have to or I need to. I have. Ajá. Uh -huh. I have I to have. meet. I have, I have to, to meet, meet some clients. Some clients. Eh, eh, aquí me... Tengo dudas, pero es el 20 de octubre. October 20th. 20th at 8 o'clock. Where? October, yes, San Salvador. San Salvador. Sí. Very well. Excellent. Dimas, read one of your examples. Y yo corriendo, mi vaya. Ah, running. <laughs> okay, okay, running teacher, away. Eh, um, De las mías, um, I have to visit clients on Tuesday, October uh, 22nd mm -hmm. at 10 a.m. Uh, City San Isidro Cabañas. Okay, excellent. Very well. Now Thank listen, you. I have been listening to some of your partners, the same as you. And you have also been working in the breakout rooms and they already know about your activities. But the second part of the activities that I told you um, about is this, okay? Now we go with the completion of the second part here. You are going to write activities, you have to, you have to remember, or need to do in your job what you have collected in the first part in exercise four. Now, interview two classmates. So it means you are going to be working in a small groups of three because you have to interview two classmates and write the activities they have to do or need to do. But before you have to write here, my activities, okay? If it is my case, I'm going to write, for example, I have to teach a class on Tuesday, October 18th, okay, at 8 p.m. Where? Online. In my case, yes, that is my first activity. I write here my second activity, but as a whole, as a complete sentence. Acá me van a escribir sus actividades, la de cada quien, las personales, por eso, por eso dice your list, tu lista de actividades, ¿de acuerdo? Luego acá, your classmates list, las actividades de tu compañero, one, two, three, y de la compañera, one, two, three. ¿Está ok? Es decir, yo voy a tener acá mis actividades, acá voy a tener las de Clelia y las de Serafín, ¿sí? Entonces, Clelia va a tener acá la de ella, acá va a tener la de la teacher y acá va a tener la de Serafín. ¿Estamos claros? Do you have any question about the activity? Teacher, no, teacher. La, tell me. Las actividades van a ser con todo y... Eh, eh, y la fecha, when, sí, what sí, time, no, when, where? what time, no, como que fuera una sola oración, sí, por ejemplo, ajá, going... pero, ajá, uniendo todo eso, toda la oración, sí, correctísimo, así ah, es, va, okay. por ejemplo, veamos, here we go, mm, in the, ok, over here, let's see, Oh, no, it's better in the manual because you have the manual. You don't have that. Uh, um, here. And this is, yeah, here. We, okay, over here. Here, for example. Okay, my activities, as I told you, I have to teach a class 
Okay. On Tuesday, not today because today is ongoing activity. On Tuesday, um, October 18th, porque mañana es 18, ¿verdad? 18th, 18th at 8 p.m. online, porque el lugar es en, en línea, ¿sí? This is my first activity, la mía. Activity number one. And then I continue over here with activity number two. We online, okay? And then I move to activity number two. Es decir, las actividades de ustedes las van a escribir acá completas, tal cual como la tenían acá, pero una sola oración, ¿sí? Y acá, ok, I say, eh, Carlos, Miguel, tell me what do you have to do or what do you need to do in your job? And I write here, for example, Carlos, ok? Um... I, and uh, then, Wednesday, and then, Wednesday, okay, October so 19th. I write, I write, Carlos, he has to, ¿qué tienes to, que hacer, Carlos? I need to organize two meetings for a okay, class. Okay, fíjense bien, lo que tienen que decir es, estar claro, si van a decir need or have to, okay? Entonces, él al principio me dijo have, entonces yo lo cambio porque sería, he needs to... Ajá, Carlos, lo de la clase que me dijo. Uh, he need to organize two meetings for a class. Organize. I, he needs to organize two meetings for a class. Ok, when? On. ¿Cuándo tiene que hacer eso, Carlos? Um, eh. Wednesday, October On Wednesday, 19. Wednesday, Wednesday, October 19. October 19th, where? Um, nine o'clock, at ah, nine o'clock. Ah, pero entonces es a class on Wednesday. Okay, ah, yes, at nine a.m. Ajá. Uh -huh. At 9 a.m. or p.m. A.m. Where? 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 Donde? Uh, ¿En qué lugar? In my office. In, in the office. Or in his office. Esta es la primera actividad que Carlos me dictó. Que Carlos me compartió. Entonces, yo no voy a decir... Carlos, I need to, tal cual como, no, esa oración la voy a escribir utilizando el presente simple de tercera persona de singular, porque es él, en caso que fuera ella, que fuera Blanqui, que me dice su actividad, yo escribo Blanca Luz, she has to, or she needs to, y la oración completa, ¿de acuerdo? ¿Sí? ¿Sí comprendimos? Hola. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok. Hello, Jonathan. Welcome. Bien, entonces eh, les voy a transferir a equipo de tres porque son dos compañeros a quienes tienen que entrevistar, ¿verdad? Y acabamos. Porque hay quienes salieron, entonces vamos a recrear esto. Mm. Ay. Bien, entonces me quedaría, ay, fíjense que habría dos equipos de cuatro y los demás de tres, ¿verdad? Porque como tienen que entrevistar a dos, no los puedo dejar en pareja. No problem. No problem. Ah, no hay problema si creo otro equipo, solo de dos. No, porque no van a tener la... Bueno, entonces vamos a crear otro más. A ver cómo los lanza la plataforma. Y yo no veo. <ríe> ok, here we go. Ready. Porque la plataforma los movió a todos. Here we go. I sent you the invitation. Join your groups and begin the activity. Join 
your groups and begin the activity, okay? Don't forget to write. No se olviden de escribir la actividad. Alejandra Michelle, we need you in group number one. William, we need you in team number two. Alejandra Michelle, la necesitamos en el equipo uno. William, le necesitamos en el equipo dos. William, team number two. En Alejandra, okay. Alejandra, please go to group number one. Alejandra Michelle, group number one, please. Alejandra Michelle, are you okay with your connectivity? ¿Me escucha Alejandra? ¿Está disponible? Quizás no. Ok. Le vamos a colocar la, la fecha y el lugar donde lo vamos a hacer. Ok. Compañeros. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Tengo que hacer a No se le escucha. ¿Y cómo si tenía off el micrófono? No le quería interrumpir las entrevistas. Creí que ya estaban en lo mejor de las entrevistas. No, empezar yo, hemos dicho. Ah, ok, begin, please. Thank you. Ok, great. Solo voy a compartir. Para mostrar esto. Chicos, ¿quién, ¿quién estaba con ustedes? Michelle. Mm, Michelle. Michelle apareció ah, ahí de repente. Sí, probablemente tiene, tiene problemas de conexión porque estaba ahí en el main session. Ruth, cuando regrese, yo se las envío acá, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, okay bye. Entonces son tres cada una.
When is Susan's meeting? When is Susan's meeting? Uh, on Monday, November 22nd. 22nd, very 22nd, well. 22nd, uh -huh. Excellent. Do you think Susan has a busy agenda? Um, yes, she I... does or no, she does? No, she does. Uh, Why not? Um, no? A los cuatro días tienen otra actividad. Lunes y viernes. <laughs> ah, no. Sí. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. But you don't know if it is all day long. No sabes si es todo el día. Porque es con el consultor. Ajá. Uh -huh. Or if it is uh, going to be more than one day. And what about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday the 26th. So uh, in your opinion, only those two activities she has to do. In su opinion, solo esas dos actividades tiene que hacer ella. <laughs> yes. Pues son las que, se, el trabajo. Son las que okay. se conocen. <laughs> okay. Eh, para Thank mí, you. hasta muy poquito. <laughs> in your opinion, okay. Hago más uh, 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 Yes. Eh, hay a question. Este, en la segunda pregunta, do you think Susan como uh -huh. está usando el pronombre you, do you, que si no. yo creo, que si Susan, Ajá. no voy a contestar. It is, it is your opinion about Susan. Ajá, about entonces, Susan. La respuesta, entonces la respuesta no sería yes, I do, yo no. creo. No. no, listen, here you have the question, let's analyze, that's a good question. Do you think Susan has a busy agenda? Uh, yes, I do, or no, I don't, if it is short answer. But here in the second part, why? Si usted contesta, yes, I do, tiene que decir por qué considera que ella tiene una agenda muy ocupada. If you say, no, I don't, tiene que contestar por qué considera que la agenda de Susan no es muy apretada como contestaba Carlos, ¿verdad? Okay. Sí, okay. Yes, I do. No, I don't. And then you justify your answer. Y luego justifica su respuesta. ¿De acuerdo? Okay, teacher. Yes. Thank okay, you. great. Thank you. Excellent. So as I was telling you, class, today is the deadline for the midterm exam in case that you didn't do it and the uh, homeworks for week number two, okay? So I'm going to ask Jose Mario to stay with me. I need to talk to you seriously. Okay, class, thank you so very much for being here. I hope to see you tomorrow. You're real champions. Congratulations for your practice, okay? Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Have a good night. Good Only night. Jose Mario stays see with me to practice tomorrow. the dates. Okay, bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. Go bye. to sleep. Bye. Relax. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good night. Bye bye. Okay, Jose Mario, good we're night, going teacher. to stay here. But have a good night, Brandon. Thank you for being here. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to tell you something about okay, the dates. Para eh, mencionar las fechas en inglés, recordemos que utilizamos los números ordinales, como aparece acá. First, second, third. En español, nosotros no hablamos correctamente en cuanto a las fechas. ¿Por qué? Porque nosotros, ¿qué es lo que decimos? For example, we say, uh, to tell you an example, November, November, uh, let's say, November 1st. Okay. El primero de noviembre, right? November 1st. ¿Y qué es lo que decimos cuando ya es el segundo día de noviembre? En español nosotros decimos November tú, ¿sí o no? Sí. Pero no tendría que ser así porque la lógica nos dice, si comenzamos con el primer día, ¿verdad? Primer día de noviembre tendría que ser segundo día de noviembre. En inglés sí se sigue esa lógica y decimos second, ¿ok? November second. Y para decir el 3 de noviembre, ¿cómo sería? November. Third. November third. Entonces, acá usted se le complica porque usted no lo escribe así, sino que usted escribe third. Yes. Sí. 
y está correcto, pero lo más común es escribirlo así. ¿De acuerdo? Okay. Entonces tenemos acá November 3rd. Then, para decir November 4th, el 4 de noviembre, decimos en español, pero en inglés sería November 4th. Que Fourth. sería, ajá, 4th, ¿sí? ¿De acuerdo? De acuerdo. Muy bien, entonces llegamos así y vemos que Hello, Filomena. We are in the one-on-one -on -one session with uh, Jose Mario. Ya terminamos la clase, Filomena. Estamos en la sesión individual con Jose Mario. Ok. Ok. okay. Thank you. Good Have night. a good night. Bye bye. Thank you for being very responsible. Gracias por ser muy responsable. See you tomorrow. Ok. Así le pasa a varios cuando casi al final pierden la conexión. Ya cuando reingresan, ya estamos en la sesión con el otro compañero. Y así, entonces, fíjese que acá tenemos la variante first, second, third. A partir del cuarto, ¿verdad? Del número cuatro, pero en ordinal, el cuarto día. En este caso, la terminación es con TH, ¿sí? Y así tenemos fifth, six, ¿ya? Yeah. Sevens sucesivamente. Pero cuando ya llegamos al 20, que era lo que veíamos, sería 20. Y como lo escribimos, sería 20. Uy. Me falta la W. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, uh, it was rare and I said something is wrong. 20. Pero para el vigésimo primer día sería. 20, acá fíjese, cambia. 21st. Vigésimo primer día. Uy, no es coma, sino que es un guión. Ajá. 21st. Sí, se fija. Entonces no nos vayamos a confundir. ¿Por qué? Porque 20 es acá. Y 21st. Acá escriben bien eh, el número 20, tal cual como lo utiliza siempre todo el mundo. Lo que cambia es first, ¿sí? Y entonces, ¿cómo sería el vigésimo segundo día? ¿Cómo escribiríamos el vigésimo segundo día en inglés, uh, José Mario? 20 second. Excellent. That's it. 20 second. Entonces, estas variaciones siempre las vamos a ir teniendo, ¿verdad? Luego con 23rd, de ahí con 24 y todo lo demás sigue de igual manera. Igual con serie, series, 31st, 32nd, 33rd, 40 40 en bla, 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 ¿ok? Entonces resulta más fácil escribirlo acá, 22nd, y así se escriben en la fecha, ¿sí? ¿Ok? okay. Entonces solo quería clarificarle esto porque eh, solemos, tenemos la tendencia a confundir este 20 con 20 es, ¿ok? okay. Bien. Eso por una parte. Ahora vamos por otra parte acá. Le voy a pedir que me lea esta conversacioncita. ¿Ok? Would you please read for me? Adele, please. Okay. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? Continue. On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference by the Mexican rep representative? It on Friday the 26th. Okay, excellent. Fíjese en estas dos fechas. On Monday, el lunes, November 22nd, 22 de noviembre. Y acá, it's on Friday the 22nd. Friday, de, mencionamos el día de la semana y la fecha. Entonces se le puede agregar o oh, it's on Friday the 26 o puede decir it's on Friday 26, ¿de acuerdo? Okay. Sí, pero siempre que vamos a hablar de los días de la semana utilizamos la partícula on, la on. preposición en este caso on, ¿verdad? On Friday, on Monday, on Tuesday. Aunque nosotros decimos en español el lunes, martes, el miércoles, el jueves. Entonces no decimos de Monday, no. On Monday, on Friday, oh, okay. on Saturday, okay, and so on. 
And now I need you to practice pronunciation here. We're going to switch roles, okay? You are Jan and I am Anne. Begin, please. And, and, and there's something you need to do tomorrow. Yes, actually I need to call some clients and you? Well, I have to res reschedule? reschedule two meeting for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to prove it important uh, important imp information to some customers that sounds interesting provide remember provide como decimos la i en inglés i provide okay provide. Now, now we switch roles pero vamos a cambiar los nombres vamos a usar nuestros nombres okay yo inicio jose mario is there something you need to do tomorrow Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I have to reschedule two meetings for tomorrow. They were canceled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to provide important information to some customers. That, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's so interesting. Yeah, we get, you know, inspired. Yeah. Ahora, would you please read this email for me? From Daniel Ruiz at Travers.com. Leame este correo, por favor. Uh, subject, very important. Tax for this month. Uh, what, do you, what, do you, what do you say in Spanish? Tax. Son las uh, asignaciones o tareas. Ok. Eh, dear teacher. <laughs> there, are, <laughs> oh, yes. there, are, there are some of the tax for the month. I really need you to contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sanchez. You have three days to do it three hours each day. Call the new client for the last three weeks and give them a catalog information for June. You have two days to do it one hour each day. It's very important to set the two last sales reports on May 26th. And they write a new welcome letter for the new customer. You have one day to do it for four hours. Finally, visit the two store in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it. Two hours each day organized for a week. Take, thank, thank you. Best regard, Daniel Ruiz. Okay, organize your week. Repeat after me, please. First. First. Second. Second. Third. Third. Fourth. Fourth. Okay, entonces acá. Primera prioridad, segunda prioridad, tercera prioridad y cuarta prioridad. First, second, third, fourth. Son los números ordinales que utilizamos también para mencionar los días de la semana. Okay. Now here, you are Mark and I am Bri. You begin. I really need that memory. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away, now switch. I really need I that. really need. We switch because I am Mark, okay? And you read the other character. I really need that memo, Jose Mario. Just a moment, please. 
I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Right away. Okay, now you read the complete conversation. Ahora usted solito, you alone read uh, the conversation. I really need that memory. Just a memo, a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important right away. Excellent, very well. Okay, great. I have to tell you that I am grateful because you gave me this 10 minutes, okay? So have a good night. Thank you for working in the platform and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Sweet dreams, happy sleep. See you tomorrow, bye-bye. Have, have a nice night. Yeah, the same to you, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.